Hey there, people! I'm your friend and I'm a player Spider-Man. We give you a deck to Mudlarks. As we left off, we got ourselves an expensive painting from a renowned painter or an artist, and now, if if I know, we're just gonna go around to all places, see what's happening. Apparently, the tour group is here. Hello there, sir. Madam, don't mind me. It's one of the people from the walking tour. I think his name is Sanjeev. I recognize this lady from the walking tour. So let's, uh, let's grab them. Nope. I don't want to get arrested. Okay, let's talk to them then. Hi there. Alright, mate. Um, just don't be expecting me to do any kind of accents. I think I can do an okay Indian accent, but don't expect me to do that. Did I see you in that walking tour group? Yes, a a, what a fascinating affair that was. What did you learn? Oh, a lot of things. That tour guide really knew what he was talking, what she was talking about. What was that she was saying about churches helping Jewish people in the area? Were you on the tour? No, I just happened to be walking past, and I heard her mention something about that. Well, it was simply what you have just said. She mentioned churches helping Jewish people in the area. I believe it was during World War II. Interesting. Is it? Yes. Why? Oh, I have my reason. No point getting into the whole subject with random strangers. If I heard the words coming out of my own mouth, I would scarcely believe them. Do you think she knows a bit more about that subject? I guess so, she was a bit of a fountain of knowledge. Good luck finding her though. Where did she go? Well, I know that we had another half of hour of our tour to go. But just after we worked back up uh, off the shore, she hightailed it out of there. Did she say where she was going? Uh, something about the birches, whatever that is. The birches? Yes, yeah, she was in a hurry. We were all a bit upset, thinking of asking for a refund. You can't expect people to pay 20 pounds for a tour and then leave halfway through. Shocking. Perhaps if I could find this tour guide, she could tell me a bit more of, about this uh, church intervention. If I could find out what happened to Galvis, I might be able might be a step closer to finding Vincent. There are a thousand churches around this area. I wonder which one it was that may have helped them. Wait a minute. The Burgess. Perhaps that matchbox I found is from the Burgess? There's a B and a G visible on it, as well as the word hotel. She could have dropped it when she was leaving the shore. It could be a hotel. Perhaps the tour leader is there. I should find out where it is. Do you know of a Burgess hotel at all? No, sorry. Did you catch the name of the tour leader? Hermione, I believe. Last name? I uh, didn't catch it. Thanks. Do you come here often? The Cook Inn? Nah, not really. It was just handy to come to after this tour ended. You? Yeah, it's a great pub. You haven't happened to see a man with a beard around this area anymore, anywhere? Yeah, that is incredibly vague. I've probably seen 10,000 men with beards around here. All these bloody hipsters taking over London, ain't it? Tell me about it. I call the bearded wonders with their vintage clothes and organic burger joints. I could rant for a month of Sundays about the hipster takeover of traditional working class London areas. No, it's not the time. Your friend is pretty quiet. Yeah, she doesn't she don't talk much. Just a pretty face. Hee 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 hee. Thanks for your help. Catch you later, man. Yeah, tee hee 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 hee, alright. Ah, Norman is here. Mr. Samuels is here. Sorry about last time, Mr. Samuels. How are you today? Not bad, Winston. Not bad. Trade is starting to pick up again after the whole meteor nonsense. Yeah, things seem to be getting back to normal again. I take it there has been no sign of Vincent? No, sorry. He has been in my prayers. We all are worried sick about him. Have the police turned off any information? No, but I'm doing my own investigation. Be careful. Believe me, I am. Have you heard of the Burgess Hotel or something similar? 
Can I say I have? How come? Never mind. I'll catch you later, Nicola. Say you. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. Any sign of Vincent yet? I'm afraid not, Gov. I've got a boo after him, so I'll work all your if he shows up. Thanks, Norman. It's the least I could do after you gave me the opportunity to be a rich man. Why do I squander these opportunities at every corner? Tears well up in his eyes once more. Have you heard of a place called the Burgess Hotel or something similar? Let me see now, let me see. Burley, you say? No, Burgess. Ah, Burgess. Burgess Hotel? Of course, Maka. Poshish bleeding hotel in all the soul laundered eyes. Over Lambeth Way, totally road. Thanks. You're welcome, citizen of this fair city. See you around. Oh, but yeah. Someone's got to keep an eye on pop and crime, said it. He follows this with a cheeky wink. Lazy bugger. Yeah, somebody's got to keep an eye on the uh, pop crimes. In it. I think I broke my eye. <laughs> Much better. Nobody back here. And I doubt there's nobody that, anybody here still playing this music. Hey, Mr. Samuels. I've done all I want with Mr. Samuels for now. Hello there. I remember you, the Hildebrand locket. Did you find the date plate? Actually, I did. Incredible. May I have a look? Good gracious, so it is. A little damaged, but there is no doubt in my mind that it's a Hildebrand date plate. Can I? Can you tell me anything about the date plate? As I said, it's a bit damaged, but it will certainly add a little, at least a grand to the value of the locket. Excellent. Would you be interested in selling it? I would quite like this piece of his for my own collection. I could do it with the money, but I can't sell it without Vincent's permission. Besides, the gov ladies uh, might, uh, may hold the key to this whole affair, somehow. I'm afraid I can't sell it just at the moment, but I will get back to you when the time comes. And completely up to you, but bear in mind my interest. Thanks. The name inscribed is Gover. Do you know anything about that family? Gover. I can't say I do. And from what I've gathered, the girl in Lockett escaped in London around 70 years ago. The older woman was killed in a car crash alongside her husband. Whoa, you've done your research in a hurry. I have my ways. My research has told me that two of the family escaped London due to the persecution. Any idea of how, what this could be referring to? Hmm, I'm assuming something to do with World War II. But it's not something I've come across in my research. Perhaps they were Jewish. I know there was some anti-Semitism in London around that time. Yes, that is what I'm beginning to suspect. But it's not my specialty subject. Thanks. I've heard that churches around here help Jewish people escape persecution in London. Have you heard of this? Churches helping Jewish people escape London? That's not something I have ever heard of. Okay. Thanks for your help. See you later, Mr. Buttlocker. I do have a name. It's Winston. Wind, Winston. I think we should get, go get the proton packs. Kudos to those who know what I'm talking about. So uh, now we have uh, some ourselves the Burgess Hotel. I guess that's the only place we could go, really. The Burgess Hotel. Stalking a tour guide using information from a matchbox that she may or may not have dropped. Loving my life at the moment. This is a posh hotel. They have guys outside to help with the luggage, etc. This man looks a bit serious. They are. They take their job very seriously. Burgess Hotel. It looks very swanky, indeed. You can see the glassiness oozing out from inside. I don't want to fiddle with the porter. Well, if he was a violin, you would fiddle with him. Or maybe you would diddle him. Hi there. Good day, sir. Does sir need valet service? Yes, please. 
Very well, sir. May I have your car keys, please? Ah, sorry. I don't actually need a valet. I'm just visiting. In that case, I would be appreciated if sir didn't waste my time. Sorry. Have you seen a middle-aged woman about five feet five, a ready brown hair, coming lately? I'm afraid I can't talk about the guests, sir. Fair enough. See you later. Goodbye, sir. So, I need to get myself some car keys. Or something. To get him out of the way. Because I'm sure I cannot just go in. The entrance to the hotel. No. Oh, I actually can. Never mind. After poking around the hotel lobby and generally acting rather suspiciously, Miss Tour Guide has been located. Pounding the champagne by the looks of things still, hopefully she can shed some light on those churches helping the Jewish folk escape. Not that this makes sense, but if I can find out more about the Galvis, maybe I can get a step closer to fighting Vincent. Well, she certainly looks like she's enjoying herself. That's definitely the lady from the tour group. She appears to be having a whale of a time. A dashing old silver fox. He's having a great time chatting up to the tour guide. I presume he's a guest here for his dinner. Can we just grope her? I would not need to have a few pies before attempting that. I should not resort to manhandling. Ah, uh, no. Excuse me, may I have a word? Excuse me? Oi! I'm talking to ya! She's too busy chatting and flirting with the band to even notice I'm here. Either that or she's ignoring me. Hi there. Hello. If you don't mind, I'm busy here. Okay, sorry. Excuse me, sir, may I have a word? I just want a quick word with your lady friend. Ignored. Damn. Men's toilets. Let's go in. Ah, the toilet. The last bastion of true privacy a man can have in this day and age. Don't need to go right now, though. I was just hoping we could sneak in there and wait until this guy leaves or something. Candles, huh? The candles give the room a nice ambiance. It's a pepper shaker. Hmm. This may come in handy at some point, besides it's a very fancy pepper shaker. Could get some food, bro some good brownie points if this is presented to Lori as a gift. Hmm. You don't say. But we can also do this. Hi there. Take a look at what I have here. He couldn't ignore me anymore if he tried. I wasn't trying to show it to him, I was trying to shake it, shake it, shake it, and he would go a, a chewy, 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 and then we go uh, blabby, blabby, blabby with the lady. Apparently, that's not the case. Well, she's gone. There's nothing here that I need, anyway. So, um, hmm. What could I use the pepper for? How do I get to talk to with, with the lady? Well, you're still uh, trying to get the aluminum foil. Good for you. I think they have clothes now. Besides, I think I have established Vincent wasn't there. Then why is that place still a place I can go to? Can we go in here? It's not time to go to the meeting yet. Is there anything uh, over here? Over here? This is where we found the locket at the date plate. Do we need to use it in any way anymore? I think I found all I need. It's one of those conundrums on what the hell I'm supposed to do. I'm open for ideas. Anybody? Anybody out there? Give me ideas. All right, this is not a live stream. Damn. 
The only thing I can think of is just go into the hotel and try to do stuff there. Or maybe I've got another idea. Maybe, baby. I've got another idea, baby, baby. No, just go in there. Get out of here. We're going. Going, going, gone. We're going back to the cock inn. Because we need to talk to these people again. I just got a feeling. You know. Hi there. Hi. Were you part of the walking tour I just saw down at the foreshore? No English. No. Then why are you here? Are you learning English from the tour group? Hi there. All right, mate. Thanks for your help. Got you later, man. All right, mate. Got you later, man. Yeah. Don't give him an accent, then give him an accent. Yeah, that's how it works. Any son of Vincent yet? I'm afraid no, Gov. I've got the old bill after him, so I will call if he shows up. Blah 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 I think I've exhausted him off information for the time being. Apparently you have. Apparently we have, apparently you have, apparently everybody has. Shiggity shiggity shwe. Shiggity shiggity shwoo. I really don't have any uh, car keys. Maybe I can show him the matchbox? Do you recognize this? Yes, that is from our hotel. Thanks. Bingo. Well, that confirms that Burgess Hotel is where I needed to go. Oh wait, I already knew that. A oh, women's toilets. I'm not feeling very perverted right now. I will. I'll give it a miss for the time being. Good for you. The women's toilets. Best stay out of there. Have a look at this. Completely ignored. Uh. Police badge works. Have a look at this. Hey there, have a look at the, what I have here. I think I should give that away. I don't think I should give that away. But I do think I should give that away. Maybe the painting? No, they're just... Uh, they're just ignoring me. Maybe I need to do something with the glass over here. The wine glass. A large glass of red wine. Hmm. Maybe I need to put some pepper into it. Spice it up here if you know what I mean. Shit! I've got one in here with my jumper! Excuse me, dear. Oh, let's go clean up. The man rushes off to the men's room in despair. A massive red stain on his lovely jumper. Now is my chance to get to the tour guide. Alright. No, I don't want to grope her. Hey, my Jeff is sitting there. Can I just have a quick word? If you must. Sorry to disturb you, but I saw you doing your walking tour earlier today. Did you now? Well, I hope you weren't one of those cheeky chappies that join my tours and don't pay for them. No, I just caught a bit of it. Down on the Thames shoreline. Lucky you. I am good, aren't I? She is a modest type. Yes, it was very interesting from what I saw. And now you have hunted me down? Shall I be calling the police? My young men hunting me across the city. No, please don't call the police, I just need your wisdom on something. Go on. I was wondering if you could tell me more about the churches that were helping Jewish people escape London. Well, when the World War II kicked off, it was a very uncertain time for our Jewish friends. Many of them were sure that Hitler was going to conquer Britain, and as such, they would be hideously persecuted as their people were in Europe. I see. Churches in London were known to have used their, their connections to secure safe passage to the Americas for Jewish families who were willing to make generous donations to the church. Connections? Travel was hard in those days. You couldn't just go down to travel agents like you can now. 
It was a time of great distress. Passenger liners were not leaving the UK very often at all. The churches, however, were still sending off missionaries here and there and everywhere. Jewish families who paid up could go away on these boats to their safety. Interesting. Why do you need this information? I'm trying to find out what happened to a particular family. I see. Your relatives? No, just trying to solve a bit of a mystery. By any chance, have you heard of the Gava family? Well, it's definitely a Jewish name. But I'm afraid I don't know about exact cases. I see. Do you know what churches were doing this? I'm afraid I can't recall. I know they were mostly around central and east London, along the Thames. They could launch their boats directly from behind the churchyards on some occasions, it's been said. I see. Do you know any local historians or the like who could give me more info? Well, I wouldn't normally give away my sources, but seeing as you are such a charming young man, I think I can make an exception. Oh dear, I think she's flirting with me now. Uh, thank you so much. Don't worry about wasting your time tracking down all the men in Anorax. If you go to East South Walk Library and tell them Hermione sent you, they will show you where they keep all the good stuff. Wow, thanks very much. My pleasure. What happened to your friend? Jeff? Oh, poor Jeff. Biggest sneeze I've ever seen. He spilled wine all over his lovely salmon cashmere jumper. He's gone off to give it a scrub. <laughs> How fortunate. Do you come here often? Oh, the Birches. Isn't it delightful? Not a better place in London to put your feet up after a long tour and have a few drinks. Well, a lot of drinks. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Call me sometime. You can find me on the interweb. Search for Hermione Tours. Thanks, will do. Bye-bye. Get out of here, Winston. Oh, yeah, that lady. Well, let's see if we've got the library now. Now we have the East South Work Library. Or South Wark. Doesn't look like a library to me, but, eh, old London buildings. The, the, the structure of the building looks kind of out of place, if you know what I mean. If that is Photoshop, it's one of the worst Photoshop jobs I've ever seen. But if that is weird, that is the weirdest architecture I've ever seen. But we're going we're gonna go into the library next time for for now. Thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.